Okay, so one of the most common questions in coaching that comes up is, what do I do when I'm encountering what I perceive to be resistance? And by resistance, what most people are trying to say is when my client's pushing back, they're antagonistic. They're either not taking on what I'm saying or they're giving me reasons or excuses why they can't move ahead. First thing you do is let's try to reframe resistance as discord. And by discord, it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It's not about blame, it's about taking responsibility. And when you take responsibility for the quality of the communication, it stops you from prematurely assigning blame or making assumptions about why the client's hesitant or why they're resisting. So the first step is reframing resistance into discord. You're just not in a state of flow relationally or conversationally yet. Second thing is understanding the phases of the conversation. So in disciplines like motivational interviewing, they break up the conversation into four distinct phases. The first is engagement. The second is focusing. The third is evoking. And finally, it's planning. Here's what this means. First and foremost is the level of rapport that you have with your client. In other words, the level of engagement. Rapport is a relationship of positive responsiveness. So if ever your client's not in a state where you're responding to each other positively, you're not in rapport. So sometimes it's a matter of going back, not rushing through all the stages and getting to the work, not right away, but kind of like establishing, are we in a state of resonance? Do we have rapport? Let's get to the other phases. Focusing is basically just framing the what. What is it that the client and you are trying to cooperatively achieve within the session? Number two is evoking. Why is that important? And three is planning or the processes about the behaviors that's going to bring that about. about <laughs> rather, normally when we're experiencing discord or resistance, we're jumping too far too fast. So we might be focusing on the how but what we really need to do is pull back and evoke the emotional commitment by rooting the conversation and discovering the why. Basically, the communication process works like this. You and your client are trying to go somewhere, but you're starting from a different place. And all you're trying to do within the process is identify a bridge between where you are and where you want to go find that bridge, 